ten times Naruto's actions were not justified. Naruto was a master prankster and many people in the leaf had their hair in splits, trying to deal with him and his antics. As an anime character, Naruto was undoubtedly a champion of righteousness throughout the entire series. He had a good heart and lofty ideals, which he shared with his enemies, often succeeding in making the toughest of villains into softies. As good as he was, however, it did not mean that he was a complete saint. He was a master prankster and many people in the leaf had their hair in splits, trying to deal with him and his antics. Not to mention that while some of them were harmless pranks, some of them caused harm to himself and those around him. 10. His ultimate secret ninja technique was a perverted offensive one. One of Naruto's favorite jutsu was the sexy jutsu, where he transformed himself into a mostly naked woman. The jutsu, more often than not, caught opponents completely off guard. He was inspired by adult magazines to develop this technique. Most fans try to justify Naruto's bratty behavior as simply that of being a young boy. But this jutsu took it a bit too far. It would have been better if he had realized how crass and problematic this jutsu was when he got older, but he just kept using it to his own advantage. 9. He taught young Kanoamaru his perverted ultimate secret ninja technique. It was already quite problematic that Naruto learned the sexy jutsu, but what was even worse was that he taught it to the young Kanoamaru. Kanoamaru admired Naruto because they shared a common dream of becoming the Hokage of the Leaf. Initially, when they met, Naruto took the boy under his wing as a sort of disciple. He should have been a good role model to the impressionable child, but instead, he taught him a jutsu that was not only questionable but also quite offensive. 8. He kept pestering Sakura even though she had made it clear she was not interested. As a young boy, Naruto had a huge crush on Sakura. Even though she had made it clear that she was not interested in him. He kept trying to think of ways to impress her and make her like him back. Instead of backing down because he should have respected her decision, he simply followed her around and kept asking her out on dates. Constantly ignoring her rejections. She was sometimes forced to use physical strength to drive the point home. 7. He tried to violate Sakura's consent by impersonating Sasuke to get her to kiss him. Naruto liked Sakura a lot, but she didn't feel the same way about him. He knew she was completely infatuated with Sasuke. So in a desperate and extremely ill-thought-out attempt, Naruto trapped Sasuke and transformed himself to look like him just so he could go out on a date with Sakura. Sakura expressed the desire to kiss Sasuke and Naruto tried to use his disguise as an advantage to kiss her. Thankfully for Sakura, the plan failed as Naruto had to use the washroom several times, thus never getting to kiss her. 6. He caused more harm than good in the fight against Haku. During the wave arc, Team 7 was confronted by Zabuza Momochi, the ninja from the mist, and his aide Haku. In the battle with Haku, Sasuke got trapped inside his demon ice mirror jutsu. Instead of figuring out a way to deal with the mirrors from the outside, Naruto made an impulsive decision and trapped himself inside the mirrors with Sasuke. He did not stop to think things through, and instead of working with his comrade, he became a liability and put Sasuke's life in danger. 5. He did not treat his other friends the way he did Sasuke. After Sasuke left the leaf to join Orochimaru, Naruto took it upon himself to bring him back, even though Sasuke clearly didn't care about anything else but his revenge. Naruto thought that he wouldn't be worthy of the Hokage title if he could not save his friend, and so he became obsessed with Sasuke. Naruto was friends with Shikamaru, Choji, and Kiba as well, but he never really paid much attention to them. In fact, Choji and Shikamaru were the first people at the academy to accept him as a friend, yet he never showed as much faith in them as he did Sasuke. 
He even complained when Shikamura chose Choji to go with them to rescue Sasuke. He was so obsessed with bringing back a friend that he didn't have, that he lost sight of all the good friends he already had in his life. 4. He let Kyuubi overpower him hurt Sakura in the process. Naruto and his team confronted Orochimaru at the Tenchi Bridge to gather information about Sasuke and his whereabouts. Things didn't go as planned, which led to the situation getting out of control. Naruto started fighting Orochimaru and, in his rage, resorted to accessing Kyuubi's chakra to give him an edge. Orochimaru, the silver-tongued snake that he was, kept taunting the young boy throughout the fight. This caused Naruto to lose control of himself, and the power of Kyuubi overwhelmed him completely. Jiraiya and others had repeatedly warned Naruto about this and asked him to keep his cool, but he just did not listen to them and it ended up hurting Sakura and himself. 3. He would have peeked at a naked Sakura if Yamato had not stopped him. During the Tenchi Bridge reconnaissance mission, Yamato took the team to a hot spring so that they could relax and bond with each other. While in the spring, Naruto started making his way across the water to the other side, where he could peep into the women's bathing area. Yamato figured out what he was trying to do and recounted a tale of young Jiraiya almost dying at the hands of Tsunade when he had tried to do something similar. If Yamato had not stepped in, Naruto would definitely have tried to look at a naked Sakura without her consent, and worst of all, would have shown no remorse or regret for his unforgivable actions. 2. He humiliated Boruto in front of everyone which made them hate him. Boruto was nervous about his Chunin exam and wanted to impress his father, so he cheated with the help of Katasuk. Katasuk gave Boruto a scientific ninja tool so that Boruto could win and showcase the power of science in the Chunin exams. Naruto realized Boruto had cheated and, instead of resolving the matter privately, he humiliated his son in front of everybody. He disqualified Boruto and even stripped him of his ninja headband. Everyone in the audience started booing and yelling at Boruto, calling him a disgrace to the Leaf Village. Naruto knew what it felt like to be hated by everyone, so it was quite confusing as to why he'd do something that would make his son feel the same way. 1. He neglected his duties as a father as a husband. Naruto became the seventh Hokage of the Leaf Village, succeeding his former teacher Kakashi. When he became the Hokage, he was already married to Hinata and had two kids. Boruto and Himawari. However, Naruto's duties as the Hokage kept increasing, and he started neglecting his duties as a parent and as a husband. Hinata was left raising the kids alone most of the time. As Naruto would increasingly come home late after work. Boruto, who grew up idolizing his father, started to resent him for not being there for him and Himawari. This eventually led to Boruto acting out to get his father's attention. Exactly what Naruto did as a child. <laughs>